put a scale on my saddle to indicate my weight or the weight or the forces being applied with a mechanical advantage in DDRT. So as I suspend myself on this weight, you can see that the full amount is indicated on the scales, about 215 pounds. And when I engage the DDRT system by standing on the other leg and using the mechanical advantage, in layman's turn, from my perspective, from looking at the scales, it goes to about half of the weight. So you could say, from my perspective, I'm lifting half of the weight. But we know in reality, I'm lifting all of the weight. If somebody was standing on the ground looking at me, they would agree that I am lifting all of the weight, and indeed I am. It's just from the perspective of the climber, I'm lifting half of my weight. And this is where getting into the rad system and the Z-Rig and the mechanical advantage involved in those pulleys, I think it helps someone to understand the difference between your perspective as a climber and the perspective of the ground person. The ground person in a DDRT system has no mechanical advantage where in the same scenario with a doubled rope you have a mechanical advantage. It gets the same way with the Z-Rig and the RADs when you start looking at the mechanical advantage there. And this is not just merely a balancing of the weight like you would have if it was a double rope and you had an arm lifting or climbing each leg of that double, double rope and half of the weight was indicated by scales on each leg. You could say then that you are lifting a 107 pounds from each leg as well. But that doesn't reflect mechanical damage. 